Fresh off being honored for numerous accolades today, the Quinnipiac women's basketball team defeated Monmouth very convincingly with an 83-44 win. Welcome inside the rebound. My name's Chris Dacey. Join along Josh Silverman and Josh. Trisha Fabry said the prep wasn't as hard this time around for the tournament game because they played Monmouth the last regular season game. It's the fact that uh, uh, Monmouth was so fresh. Um, you know, it was a bit of an advantage because we were able to just, you know, we had just prepared for them the week before. So you were familiar with them um, as opposed to going back a couple of weeks. All right, Josh, you heard from Trisha Fabry how, you, how she thought the preparation was. How do you think it went? You know, Chris, it, it's one of these things where covering this team, they take it one game at a time. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. It was a little easier, however, because they did just play Monmouth, as you heard from that clip. So this team prepares, and, and they know, they might not say it, but they know, I mean, they have not lost in conference play. They know that they're probably going to be whoever they play, unless they're playing Marist, which is a tougher opponent. And they, they handle their business like they did today, and their preparation is, is the same no matter who they play. Like you said, they handled their business on and off the court. And on the court, every player who saw the court for the Quinnipiac women's basketball team scored today. What was really exceptional today was you saw the enthusiasm that you had um, with uh, Dan Danielle Bradley and Katie Grant out on the floor and everybody scoring down to the last possession. Now, Josh, you heard Trisha mention there that the dynamic of this team is huge and they're all rooting for each other. How important is that for this team's success? I mean, it, it's pivotal. The fact that not only does everyone else score, but your starters like Carly Fabry, Aaron McClure, Paula Starbone, that are so supportive of getting up and cheering when someone like Jane Ward or Paige Warfel, when they get a bucket, it's huge. I mean, this team morale and the team chemistry is off the charts. So this team mix that with the skill, and there's a reason they're undefeated in conference play this season. Well, they have a day off tomorrow. They're going to take some time, practice, watch some film, but there are some things that need to be improved. We're so mentally sound staying in the process and going forward that I Honestly, I couldn't tell you our record or how many we won, won in a row because we just know what, what, again, what today and be prepared for tomorrow. So, Josh, you heard Coach Fabry say they take it week by week. Now, she's been saying that all season, but what do you think needs to be improved for Sunday? You know, for me, it's the shooting. They didn't get out to that hot, hot of a start today. And, you know, against Mom with the team that they're far superior to, it doesn't matter as much. Hill Hurd has slipped on her shooting a bit. She was one for six today from the field. So it's just these minor things that, you know, won't be a problem Sunday for whoever they play. Monday, though, they have to play their best ball in order to be who will probably be Marist in the conference finals. But, you know, this team is firing on all cylinders right now. They're, they really couldn't do much wrong today. Like you said, they did not do much wrong today, defeating Marist very convincingly. Thanks for joining in for The Rebound. Like I said, my name's Chris Stacy, Josh Silverman. Check out all our content at www.q30tv.com and make sure you follow us on Twitter at Q30Sports. Thanks for tuning in.